what gas are you putting in your own tank? And is that gas visible to your employees, to the people that you hope to follow your lead? If not, there's a pretty good chance they're not putting the right gas in their tank either. My goal is to help, to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 230. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and we're brought to you by America's Best Restaurants. America's Best Restaurants is on a path to help you, independent restaurant owners, find more frequent customers because infrequent customers aren't paying the damn bills. The question is, what are you putting in your tank? What are you taking in? And I've talked about this many times, but today I'm talking about what are you reading and what are you listening to? And is this a question you're asking your team on a consistent basis? So in about three minutes, I start an hour of meetings with five of my team, and I have the same sprint tomorrow with five more. And these 10 employees have three questions at the bottom of their sheet. It's called their weekly score sheet where they judge their effort from the prior week. And on the top part, the business metrics, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven metrics. This might be your checklist in your restaurant that your managers go through, like how clean was the, ba- the bathrooms, the inventory, all that good stuff. The bottom of it has three columns, and it has it for Monday through Friday and then the, a, a box for the weekend. And it says, column one, read. Column two, trained. Column three, worked out. Because I know that in order for me to have a staff that grows and goes to the next level, they better be reading every day. They better be training their mind every day, and they better be working out. This particular person, Trevor, worked out seven times, trained seven times. Oh, I lied. Hold on. Read seven times, trained seven times, and worked out five last week. That's phenomenal. Today, I want to talk about the aspect of what you're taking into your head, though. What are you reading and what are you listening to slash what are you watching? The book that I started reading this morning came from a podcast I watched on Friday with Gary Vee. There's a couple people I follow with massive intent. Gary Vee, Alex Hermosi, and a little bit of Grant Cardone. Gary Vee and Alex Hermosi, one of them is on the business side. One of them is on the marketing side. Gary Vee is the marketing side, but he's also an amazing entrepreneur. Well, last week, he had the gentleman who created Waze on his podcast, and I listened to it in the car. And when I got to a stoplight, I bought the book that he was talking about, and I started reading the book this morning because, oddly enough, it's on my journey. I just finished a book. I've got seven or eight others waiting to read, but this one, I'm like, damn, that fits what I need to accomplish right now. But here's the question for you. Can you expect people to do what you're not doing? I'm sorry, but if you're a restaurant owner, if you're an entrepreneur that's got your name on the line and you're wanting to grow and you're not reading on a consistent basis, if you're not watching podcast content on a consistent basis like YouTube, and if you're not listening to audio podcasts like this on a consistent basis, then you are going to lose long term. You will not grow. And the other side of that is Logan, my first meeting, walks in my office is how can I expect Logan to read on a daily basis if I'm not reading? How can I expect Logan to train his mind if I'm not training mine? And how can I expect him to understand why to work out if I'm sitting on my ass all the time? We interrupt this programming for a brief announcement from our sponsor. Hey, it's Matt. Okay, there's no sponsor here. Just us. We don't have advertising in our podcast. It's just us dropping value to help you build the ultimate marketing plan for your restaurant. But I want you to take advantage of something. We have our America's Best Restaurants University. Yes, it's not actually a university. It's an online training. But it is a great place for you to learn how to market your restaurant at a high level and join our community online and in our Facebook group. Go to abru.online slash free. abru.online slash free. Join the ABR University and let us help you get to the next level. Now back to the show. So as my last podcast talked about, I went over the books that I've, I'm, I've read recently and what I'm currently reading and why. But I want this podcast to be just the way to kick off the week. It's Monday, March 27th, 
This is the start of a new season for you. On a daily basis, you should be reading, you should be listening, and you should be watching something that's helping you take in the right content for your journey. You can't expect to get in shape if you don't work out, you don't eat right, you don't sleep right, you don't stretch, and you don't manage your stress. So how in the hell are you going to get that business six-pack if you're not managing what you're taking in on a daily basis? And more importantly, how can you expect to have a team of badasses if they're not doing the same? So one of the questions I'm going to ask Logan here in a couple minutes is, what are you reading? What are you taking from it? How is it helping you on your journey? That's all I got. I'll see you next episode. So as you know, I don't charge my content. We don't have sponsors. We don't have product placement in here. But what I want your help with is spreading the word. If you're finding value here, do me a favor. Share this on your social media. Share an episode with something that made sense to you that's relevant to your restaurant that you got value from and tag Matt Plapp and America's Best Restaurants. Also, go to America's Best Restaurants on Facebook and on Google and leave us a review. Let us know the impact we've had on your restaurant with our road show, with our marketing help, or with our podcast. And last but not least, if you want to take the next step and help me out a lot and help us out a lot, text me a testimonial, 859-743-2408. That's my cell. A selfie video would be awesome about the impact this content or our company is having on your independent restaurant. But worst case scenario, just a few kind words. The way we can help lift this industry up is to help get content like this to more independent restaurant owners. And you are the key to spreading the word. I appreciate your support. Have an amazing day.